All right, guys, so I just got my brand new Van X 1000. But the wire that comes with it has battery hookups. So you can actually, you could use these uh, on any boat. I do, could hook these up straight to my battery, but I actually have plugins for a regular outlet on my boat. So I wanna show you guys today how I'm gonna convert this thing to be able to work on my boat. So you can do it, it's just quick and it's easy, uh, but let's just jump right into it. You're gonna have to buy this part uh, and this is your actual plug. You can get it right off Amazon um, or a Marine Electronic store. So I'll link all of that stuff in the section below so you can just jump in and grab it. I wanna say it was around 30 bucks and it only took a couple days to get here, but um, let me show you how this thing is done. Really, really easy, easy setup, easy change um, so that you can plug right into your boat. To set this thing up, uh, it's pretty easy. This plug uh, will actually comes apart here. Uh, you just pull it right apart and these screws come right out, but uh, you wanna keep those screws. On the backhand side of this, if you can see it, uh, there's a, you have your green, which is your ground. You have a, the plus right there, uh, which is for your positive. And then you have the minus right there, which is for your negative. Um, on here, obviously we only have two wires. So you have your positive and your negative. All you're gonna to need to do here um, is what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut these and splice these, feed them through the back of this plug here, right into the wire. So all you really need to get this done, Phillips head screwdriver, and then this is a pair of wire cutters. All right, so now that we got both of these cut off, we just gotta splice these down, um, but we don't want to leave too much room because we wanna get this wire, so once I feed this through this hole, I'm gonna feed this up so that this piece, right, you see this this rubber to rubber uh, is pretty tight right there. So um, I don't wanna go too far, all right? All I'm really gonna try to look for here is probably enough distance right there to be able to get uh, the wires in tight uh, and then good to go. So we're gonna cut both of these right here. Fantastic. So both of these are cut there and then all we're going to do is splice off the ends so that we can pull this out. So we got one right there and then we got one right there. Now, the next thing we're going to do is just twist these so that these stay super tight um, because when you feed it through the hole you do not want them it'd be really hard to get it through here if they're not tight all right so now i just fed that through this hole and the next thing we're going to do is hook it up to the backhand side here remember you have your red which is your positive it goes in that plus and then you have your black which is your negatives so tighten these things up again the tighter we get them the easier they'll they'll stick themselves into place here um, and then you always want to make sure too because these things are going to come a little tight so loosen up the space uh, on each one on your positive and negative okay and then red is the positive so we're just going to feed that wire in okay. so feed that red in we're going to tighten that baby up Good to go there. And then we have this. And see how we want to make sure we don't cut it too close, but we still want it to be tight enough that it's going to be able to get itself into the negative slot. So I actually did it perfect there. If you see, the wires are super, super tight and there's not much room at all uh, for any movement here. So now um, tighten this thing down. Okay, so that one's tight uh, in your negative. You got your red, which is tight in your positive. Yeah. Now, all we're gonna do is slide this back down into place. Okay. And this has a little groove that you're just gonna fit this groove. Okay. Get your screws lined up with the holes here. 
lined up, lined up. As soon as you pop right back down, line the other one up. So you got all three lined up in their space, in their holes, right? Slid down. And then all I'm gonna do here is we're gonna press this thing down because now once I'm pressing this down, it's gonna tighten up so that you can tighten these bolts into place. Okay, so now I got one. And I just like to work my way around. Um, I don't wanna do all at once because if I go and tighten all of them at the same time, or one at the same time, then it's gonna be a little uneven. So this will help to tighten it up, you know, perfectly uh, on each side. But if you look, right, look at the backhand side of this wire now. It's super tight, it's pretty watertight here. Um, you know, you're still not gonna wanna spray water in here, but this thing is gonna be very, very tight um, and will obviously prevent any sort of liquid, fluids, um, you know, any sort of water from going up uh, into this plug. And that's it. So this thing is super tight. Just double check, make sure all these are tight on here. All right, there. And then you are all set up. For now you got your wire hookup. Um, so this thing can plug right into the backhand side of your Banex 1000 uh, and then right into your boat and you're ready to go fishing. So if you have any questions, please make sure to leave them in the comment box below. Make sure to like the video. And make sure to hit that subscribe button below. More fishing videos on the way, but let's get out there and let's get this rod in use. And let's do some fishing. Thanks guys.